The Philippine Air Force has just marked a historic milestone in the modernization of its military power. According to an exclusive report from the global defense media, Jane's, on December 16, 2025, the country's air fleet has reached a significantly higher level of capability. The main focus of this muse is the A-29 Super Tucano light attack aircraft based at the Danilo Atienza Air Base. This aircraft, long known as a reliable workhorse for surveillance and ground attack missions, has now been officially integrated with a lethal package of smart weaponry. This upgrade centers on two primary weapon systems, the APWKWS Smart Rocket made by BAE Systems and the Lizard 3 Laser Guided Bomb made by Elbit Systems. To understand why this is such big news, we must first look at the context of current aerial warfare technology. For decades, propeller-driven aircraft like the Super Tucano have relied on a very simple weapon, the 70mm rocket. This rocket is a standard weapon used by almost every air force in the world because it is cheap to produce and available in abundant supply. However, these rockets have a fatal flaw that often makes combat missions inefficient. They are dumb or unguided weapons. Once the pilot presses the launch button, the rocket flies relying solely on engine thrust and the stability of its rear fins. There is no way to correct its flight path. If a strong wind blows through a valley, or if the pilot makes even the slightest miscalculation in the firing angle, the rocket can land far off target. The impact of this inaccuracy is serious, especially for a country like the Philippines. Military operations there often take place in dense tropical jungles, or in populated archipelago regions. Using inaccurate weapons means taking huge risks. A missed shot could mean destroying a civilian home, injuring innocent people, or wasting valuable ammunition with no clear result. This is the core problem solved by the arrival of the APWKWS technology, or the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System. This system represents a revolution in military efficiency. This is not a new missile that must be purchased for millions of dollars. Instead, it is a smart component, a conversion kit that is inserted into the body of those old, dumb rockets. Imagine you have thousands of old bullets in a warehouse, and you install a tiny computer brain inside them. Instantly, those old bullets transform into futuristic, highly intelligent weapons. This technology works by using a distributed laser guidance system. Laser receiver sensors are placed on the tips of the rocket's control fins. How it works in the field is highly tactical and precise. When a target is identified, for example, an insurgent truck moving down a road, troops on the ground or sensors on the aircraft will paint the truck with an invisible laser beam. This laser beam acts as a focal point. As soon as the rocket is fired from the Super Tucano's wing, the sensors on the rocket immediately see that laser dot. Automatically, the rocket's fins move in midair, steering the flight path to continuously chase that laser point. It does not matter if the truck turns or tries to evade, the rocket will keep chasing it until impact. BAE Systems states that this is the only program in the world capable of delivering surgical strike capability at such a low cost. This changes the combat doctrine of the Philippine Air Force. In the past, to destroy a single small target, it might have required dozens of rockets fired in a mass volley, hoping one would hit. Now, one target can be neutralized with one rocket. This is the concept of one shot, one kill. This efficiency allows the Super Tucano to carry more weapons, to attack more targets in a single flight without having to return to base frequently to reload. However, the biggest surprise of this integration is not just about ground attacks. The report highlights a new capability that is extremely relevant to modern warfare, anti-drone capability. The military world is currently struggling to deal with the threat of drones or unmanned aerial vehicles. Enemy drones can be small, fly low, and are hard to detect on radar. If we use conventional anti-aircraft missiles to shoot down a drone that costs $5,000, it's a huge financial loss because the missile can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's like trying to kill a mosquito with a cannon. This is where the APWKWS rocket serves as a genius solution. 
This rocket is far cheaper than air-to-air -air missiles, but has equally high accuracy. In a series of rigorous tests, this rocket proved capable of tracking and destroying Class II drones, which are medium to large-sized drones. This rocket uses a 4.5 kilogram warhead equipped with a proximity fuse. This means the rocket does not need to physically collide with the drone. It simply flies close to the drone and then detonates. The explosion and metal shrapnel will shred the propellers and electronics of the enemy drone in an instant. With this capability, the Philippine Super Tucano has now transformed into an effective drone hunter to guard their sovereign skies. In addition to smart rockets, the Philippine striking power is also bolstered by the Lizard 3 bomb made by Elbit Systems. If the APWKWS rocket is a weapon for agile and soft targets, the Lizard 3 is the weapon for destroying hard and fortified targets. This bomb also uses a similar laser guidance system. Its advantage lies in its destructive power. This bomb can be used to flatten hidden bunkers, destroy enemy logistical bridges, or neutralize buildings occupied by opponents. Pilots can drop this bomb from a safe altitude and distance, avoiding return fire from the ground, while remaining fully confident that the bomb will land exactly on the laser-designated spot. This modernization package is further completed by the introduction of other weapon options like the Gatter, or Guided Advanced Tactical Rocket, a collaboration between Northrop Grumman and Elbit Systems. This entire series of upgrades was not a sudden decision. It's the fruit of a strategic contract signed back in September 2019 with the United States Department of Defense through the Foreign Military Sales Program. This cooperation ensures that the Philippines gains access to NATO standard military technology that has been battle-tested. Strategically, this integration is vital for the future of the Philippine Air Force. Currently, they operate six Super Tucano units under the 5th Strike Wing, and the government has a solid plan to add six more units. With the fleet set to double in size, having a standardized and advanced weapon system is a necessity. It simplifies logistics and pilot training. Young pilots graduating from flight school no longer need to learn how to aim manually based on feeling or instinct alone. They are trained to fight using computerized systems. The choice of the Super Tucano as the carrier for these advanced weapons is also a very shrewd move. This aircraft uses a turboprop engine, not a jet engine. Although it flies slower than a jet fighter, that is precisely its advantage. Low speed allowed the pilot to view the situation on the ground much more clearly. This aircraft can loiter over a conflict zone for hours, providing continuous cover for infantry troops below. Now with smart weapons, this aircraft can not only see, but it can also bite with extreme sharpness. The transition from dumb weapons to smart weapons also carries a strong moral message. In internal conflicts against insurgencies, winning the hearts of the people is key. Collateral damage that kills civilians is the fastest way to lose public support. With this precision strike capability, the Philippine Air Force demonstrates its commitment to fighting professionally. They are striving to minimize the impact of war on the environment and civil society while remaining firm in destroying security threats. Ultimately, what happened at Danilo Atienza Air Base in mid-December is a quantum leap. The Philippines proved that developing nations don't always have to lose out in terms of technology. By using smart procurement strategies, leveraging a robust platform, and injecting the right weapon technology, they have succeeded in building a respected air power. Enemies hiding in the dense jungle or trying to peek from the air using drones now face a much tougher opponent. The eagle eyes of the Super Tucano are now equipped with claws that never miss. What do you think about the news above? Write your opinion in the comments section.